Hey guys, in this video, I want to keep it very basic, but I want to discuss about the science behind fat loss. अगर आपको fundamentals नहीं मालूम है fat loss के बारे में, you will hit a roadblock and you will fail the process. So it's better that you understand it before going into a fat loss phase. In this video, I want to talk about facts, not something that is approved by the WhatsApp community, but by science itself. Since this is a fat loss series, we are going to keep it very specific to what your body needs in order to lose fat. You need to somehow. Put your body into a calorie deficit. अगर आप calorie deficit में नहीं हो, you will not see progress when it comes to fat loss. It's as simple as that. You cannot go against science when it comes to this. This is just a fact I'm putting in front of you. Now, आप पूछोगे कि what the fuck is a calorie deficit? सब लोग बोलते रहते हैं, be in a calorie deficit, be in a calorie deficit. What is it? There is one law you need to understand, which is the law of thermodynamics when it comes to your body. Your body is a part of nature, and you have to comply with science to be able to. Get the results that you want. Now, the law of thermodynamics says that energy cannot be created or destroyed; it can only be transferred. Now, in terms of our body, हम लोगों को क्या करना होगा? We have to comply with energy balance. Energy balance means calories in that you are eating with food, and the calories out that you are expending through exercise, movement, hand movements, gestures, anything, sitting, standing, no matter what you are doing, in some. Capacity or the other, you are burning calories. When I'm talking, I'm burning calories. When I'm blinking my eyes, I'm burning calories. When I'm moving my hands, I'm burning calories. So this is the balance that we have to understand. मैं आपको board पे लिख के समझाता हूँ. It's going to take a few minutes. Sit back, relax. Notebook लेके आइए and try to understand a few concepts. The first thing you need to understand is energy balance. Energy balance is also the foundation of any nutrition pyramid, any nutrition plan. If you want to understand nutrition, this is the first thing you need to understand. मैंने सेपरेट वीडियो भी बनाया यू कैन चेक इट आउट दिस विल मेक द बेस ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट यू नीड टू लर्न अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन तो अगर आप ये कॉन्सेप्ट समझ जाओगे न्यूट्रिशन विल बिकम वेरी इजी एंड वेरी प्रैक्टिकल फॉर यू व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट एनर्जी बैलेंस देयर इज कैलोरीज इन एंड कैलोरीज आउट कैलोरीज इन विल कम टू अ लिटिल बिट लेटर फर्स्ट कैलोरीज आउट बट वी विल ब्रेक डाउन कैलोरीज आउट एंड वी विल सी कि क्या-क्या कंपोनेंट्स हैं एंड व्हाट यू नीड टू थिंक अबाउट व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कैलोरीज आउट इसमें काफी सारी चीजें हैं कंपेयर टू कैलरीज इन सो लेट्स गो टू दिस फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी टॉक अबाउट व्हेन इट कम्स टू कैलरीज आउट इज बीएमआर और आरएमआर बीएमआर इज बेसल मेटाबॉलिक रेट एंड दिस इंक्लूड्स द टाइम व्हेन यू आर स्लीपिंग सो इट्स नॉट अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल टर्म टू टेक ड्यूरिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग न्यूट्रिशन बट वी टॉक अबाउट आरएमआर व्हिच इज रेस्टिंग मेटाबॉलिक रेट दैट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ कैलरीज योर बॉडी बर्न्स व्हाइल इट्स इन अ रेस्टेड स्टेट and what i mean by rested state is standing moving your hands blinking your eyes kuch bhi ho aap 24/7 calories burn karte ho so that is when we talk about resting metabolic rate and this depends on a lot of factors and these factors are some of it is age first of all if you are younger your body burns more calories just to exist just to do things so your body generally burns more calories throughout the day because you are more active the second one is height so if a person is taller or broader or bigger in general they require more calories to go throughout their day i am 6 feet tall versus a person who is 5 feet something they would require less calories versus me if i replicate the same amount of movement that the that a smaller person is doing my body will require more calories because i have more weight to move i have more mass a bigger frame theek hai so my resting metabolic rate will be much higher the third one is body fat percentage or lean body mass if you have more lean body mass on you you will have a greater resting metabolic rate theek hai that is the good part about retaining muscle humne first episode mein bhi iske bare mein baat kiya hai very important and that will determine your resting metabolic rate as well then comes your gender if you are male versus if you are female females require less calories because they burn less calories Usually they have a smaller frame. Usually in not in, not in all cases, but on an average, female burns less calories than a male individual. That's just how it works because hormones are also different. Uh, activity levels might be different. So those are the things that will actually determine your resting metabolic rate. And of course, genetics play a, a role as well. You can't use that as an excuse. We will go into detail with all of these things later. But just understand that these are the factors here. that will affect your resting metabolic rate the th- second point is thermic effect of food so when your body digests food it requires a certain amount of calories to do that also okay so it's basically the amount of calories your body burns to digest the calories that you consume replay kar do isko and try to understand what i said so it's basically 
your body burns calories while digesting food as well so when we talk about tef this is when you have to understand that a high protein diet will always help you protein among other macronutrients versus carbs or fats requires more calories for you to digest which is why it is a good thing to have a high protein diet just to digest your protein your body requires more calories versus fats and carbs isliye hum log bolte hain ki high protein diet khao taki aap ka body ko zyada work karna hoga and you will you will because of that process you will also feel less hungry throughout the day if you have a high protein diet you will have less cravings you will have less uh, binge eating episodes and a lot of benefits come from protein as well muscle building all of those things you will also retain a lot of lean body mass which will basically improve your resting metabolic rate as well so keep those things in mind number 3 sabko malum hai training if you do strength training again very important for retaining lean body mass only good things will come out if you try to maximize retaining lean body mass okay so if you're doing strength training it's a very good thing that is something you need to do so strength training should be your priority okay uske alawa you can always play sports you can do cardio any kind of cardio is good hiit is not superior for fat loss okay koi bhi cardio karo cardio itself is very important so just try to prioritize cardio as a whole do it for health purposes and it's only going to help you with fat loss point number 4 the most important thing is neat which is non exercise activity thermogenesis bahut lamba term hai but just to break it down for you and make it simple is that is the amount of activity you do outside of your training sessions basically throughout the day aap kitne active ho agar aapka desk job hai and you are sitting for most part of the day then you have a very sedentary lifestyle now to basically measure your need and whether to see whether you are improving or not हम लोग सब लोग आपने सुना होगा कि बहुत कोचेस आपको बोलते हैं कि डू टेन के स्टेप्स डू एट के स्टेप्स दैट्स बेसिकली टू इंक्रीज योर नीड सो दैट्स टू इंक्रीज योर एक्टिविटी थ्रू आउट द डे अगर आप एथलीट हो आप वैसे भी एक्टिव हो दैट्स फाइन बट इफ यू समन हुज वर्किंग थ्रू आउट द डे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू गेट योर स्टेप्स इन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू जस्ट कीप मूविंग थ्रू आउट द डे आप जिम में सिर्फ एक घंटा बताते हो यू स्लीप फॉर प्रॉब्ली सिक्स टू एट आवर्स रेस्ट ऑफ द डे यूज दैट टाइम टू बी एक्टिव यूज दैट टाइम टू मूव बिकॉज दैट इज द मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर डे that makes up a lot which is why this is the most important thing when it comes to calories out but one thing about calories out is up ye sab you cannot be very accurate with it you can assume you can be as accurate as possible but the amount of calories you burn me versus you versus third person versus anyone else it's always very different and you cannot be very accurate with it but what you can be accurate with is your calories in and your calories in is basically food khana and it's very easy to stay on track with that it's very easy to measure what you're eating now you know that packaged products are there and you know how many calories how many carbs proteins fats are coming into your body and you have complete control over it so now we will discuss what calories in is taki aap ye pura concept samajh sako we have the privilege of knowing ki kya khane se aapko kya nutrients mil rahe hain in terms of carbs proteins fats fibers vitamins minerals jo bhi hai now we are talking about calories in calories out what is a calorie when we talk about calories we need to understand that calorie is a standard of measurement ab jo bhi khao fruit khao vegetable khao apple banana kiwi orange lettuce pizza burger pasta ko jo bhi khana hai har food mein calories rehte hain koi food aisa special nahi hai jisme calories hai hi nahi every piece of food brings you some energy brings you some calories that is the way we measure things just like aap distance ke liye kilometers mein measure karte ho right whether it's 1 km you cover on foot or in a car or on a plane or on a boat jo bhi hai you will still cover 1 km right no matter where it is but agar aap plane leke ja rahe ho ya gaadi mein ja rahe ho ya walk karke ja rahe ho or you're taking a boat and going it's going to take you different times because wo difficulty level alag rehta hai on water on road in the air it's very different that is when food composition comes into the picture food composition means what food is getting you more carbs or more protein or more fats or more fiber or more minerals and that's what makes the difference between one food and the other food but you are still getting calories right iske bare mein aapko awareness tabhi aayega if you track what is going into your body okay if you take a few weeks or a few months zyada time nahi lagta hai but if you take a little bit of time right now in the start of your journey to start tracking your food and be more aware of what you are eating in terms of carbs proteins fats fiber wo aapko understanding aa jayega and you'll have a deeper relationship with food and understand ki what is actually going into your body wo aap agar karoge you will definitely be surprised with 
what foods are actually getting you what nutrients and then you will start understanding ki there is no bad food there is no good food you can have a budget and uske andar aap koi bhi khana kha sakte ho if you are getting a craving of your favorite food you can still have it in moderation so before you blame your metabolism or you blame your parents for your bad genetics or you are just complaining about fat loss in general aap thoda andar dekho ki aap ka lifestyle kaisa hai aapke habits kaise hain are you controlling the amount you are eating or just having a very balanced lifestyle as a whole just one more example to make you understand jab main kisi ko puchta hu ki what is your weight right now they know it for example 80 kg what is your goal weight i want to be 74 sabko malum hai ki main mera weight abhi itna hai and i want to get to that weight but when i ask the same people how many calories you consume no idea most of the time right that is what you need to start understanding 80 is a number you want to get to 74 that is a number how many calories are going inside you it's a number you need to know that number you need to know that number because agar aapko fat loss karna hai you have to eat lesser than that but if you don't know that number in the first place aap less kaise karoge how will you know what is less it's really simple guys but it's not easy consistency lagta hai hard work lagta hai and you have to put in the time and effort with this video i just wanted to make you understand ki calories in and calories out mein kya difference rehta hai and how you can balance your energy to be able to go into a fat loss phase in the next video main aapko sare calculations bataunga what you need to calculate how you need to calculate kitne calories chahiye aapko fat loss ke liye fat maintenance ke liye kitna protein carbs fats khana hai aapko fat loss ke dauran and how you can sustainably have that over a long period of time if you like this video agar aapko kuch naya seekhne ko mila please like share comment it helps me a lot and i will see you guys in episode 3